What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, back after a little bit of a hiatus, but I have a beer here that I'm really excited to try. From Southern Tier Brewing Company in Lakewood, New York. This is Thick Mint Imperial Stout. Uh, inspired by the similarly named uh, Girl Scout Cookie, of course. Here's what they have to say about this beer. Thick Mint joins our world-class rated Blackwater series of dessert beers. This Imperial Stout is a mouthful of perfectly balanced mint and chocolate. Roasty malts coalesce with notes of Belgian dark chocolate, sweet mint, and just a touch of sweet caramel. So decadently delicious, you'll wish you'd bought another box or bottle. 10% ABV, 60 IBU. Okay, so as you would expect, pretty well pitch black, about maybe half a finger's worth of nice uh, tan head. Comes into more of a, a cola color as I hold it up to the light, maybe just a hair lighter than cola. Uh, but pretty much can't really see anything through it um, in a normal light situation. All right, let's get to it. Mm, well, uh... Certainly tons and tons of, uh, for the sake of this, we'll call it cookie aroma, so we don't run into, you know, uh, copyright type things, but um, certainly getting the, the cookie very much coming through in the aroma. Um, very easily uh, mint, mint candy, so forth. Let's try the, uh, let's try it out. Uh, and really does follow through in the flavor as well. The, the dark chocolate note is really massive and uh, a, a little bit different from your standard. They talk about using uh, Belgian dark chocolate, so there might just be a little bit of a, a recipe variation there, but it is a big, bold chocolate flavor. Very much at the forefront of the flavor profile along with uh, a, a very a, a, a fairly high amount of sweetness I'm trying to figure out if it's too sweet or not I'm not quite haven't quite made a decision yet that sweetness is very much right on the line of, of, of going going too far but I think it might just stay on the good side uh, tons of roastiness as well. Um, almost kind of a, I'm getting a lot of bitterness. It kind of almost feels like a, a char bitterness, like an, like an, I don't want to say an over roast, but a, but a heavy roast, a very dark roast char bitterness. Um, it is 60 IBU as they say, so I guess that might be where it's coming from. Uh, that's my best guess anyways. Again, uh, just a, a super super roasted malt uh bringing that bringing that uh, that char and that bitterness to the flavor to me the mint is much more evident in the aroma than in the taste of the the beer itself though it, it is it is very powerful in the aroma and i think it it really you're not getting it much in the in the uh, taste in the flavor profile, but it's the aroma is powerful enough that it kind of gives you that complete picture. Uh, pretty good body to the beer, though. I, I thought maybe there'd be just a hair more, and maybe there's a little bit of a, a booziness that might be coming through with some of that uh, that rather high sweetness as well, the rather high sweetness level. Uh, really, really nice beer, though. It's, I think one will probably be the limit, frankly. I only have the one bottle, so that's good, so I can uh, enjoy this one. But I do think we would start getting into uh, an overly sweet kind of a situation. And maybe that bitterness would maybe catch up with people as well. So, uh, I'm enjoying this one. Just went to one, but uh, very, very nice beer from uh, from Southern Tier. 
So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, both video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You can find those links and usernames in the description below. Also, feel free to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, coming tomorrow, today is Saturday, so coming on Sunday, I'm going to be starting to review the Sierra Nevada 2017 Beer Camp Series. Uh, 12 beers in total, 6 uh, collaborations with domestic brewers, and then 6 with international brewers. I'm going to do one, one domestic, one international uh, for each review, so that'll be a series of 6. Uh, it won't be continuous like I did last year. I, I did do the, the 2016 set of 6 beers. Uh, but I'm not going to do them back to back, but they'll be... Uh, probably probably once a week if I had to guess. Um, but I just have so many other uh, really great things that I want to uh, to roll out in addition to that beer camp series that I don't want to block up a full three weeks doing this uh, Sierra Nevada group. So um, they'll be coming progressively through the next uh, month, month and a half. Um, but that'll be, again, starting tomorrow. I have uh, the first two all ready to go. I think a Dunkelweiss and a uh, Barley Wine. Um, I'm just kind of picking ones at random. Again, one... One domestic, one international. I'm just, like, picking out of the box. Uh, I don't really know what they are. So um, that was the, the random pair that I got for my first set. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.